Hi, how are you all doing today? So first of all, I want to thank everybody who has had a good reaction and went and watched my last video, the Stover Ultimate Program. I've been getting a lot of great responses from people both in person, coming up to me at the gym, or, uh, or out and about, or online, telling me they've been getting results already, and that it's been working for them. It's given giving them a little bit of structure to their lifting program. And so if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and look at my last video. It's called the Stover Ultimate Program, and let me know what you think about it. So today I'm going to respond to a question I get quite frequently, which is if someone should bulk or if they should cut. And so first of all, I'm going to address if someone should cut. So if, so if you're over 20% body fat, or if you compete in a strength sport that has a weight class, or any sport like wrestling that, that has weight classes, you probably should lose a little bit of body fat to get into the healthy range. Once you get a little bit above 20% body fat, um, there's negative performance aspects as well as health implications that rise as you gain body fat. So you definitely want to get into the 10% to 20% body fat range. So next I'm going to cover if you should bulk. Now, by bulk, I mean being at a caloric surplus. Um, usually anywhere from 500 to 1,000 calories over maintenance. I don't mean um, eating, eating anything you want or eating a lot on the weekends and not eating enough or um, eating just, just barely enough to get your... Uh, activity calories done through the week. I mean a consistent caloric surplus right right around that range of 500 to 1,000 calories. And that's why I have pulled up here on the screen this, these strength standards for men. They aren't my standards. These are the standards of reputable coaches all across the world. And these standards are something to achieve for. Usually after two to three years of lifting with proper programming, you should be right around here for these um, for these strength standards, a 300-pound barbell bench at, as a one rep max, 400-pound barbell squat, and a 500-pound barbell deadlift. And so, so you're asking, what do I do with this information? So if you're not here yet, um, that gives you an idea of the amount of natural growth you have uh, in potential as a natural athlete. And so if you're not there yet, then you definitely want to look at being in a caloric surplus. Not just resistance training, not just protein, but total calories as well are also anabolic, meaning that you grow from them. So if you're not in a caloric surplus and you're not at these strength numbers, you definitely could be more efficient by being in a caloric surplus and training to get towards these strength numbers. Once you achieve these strength numbers, you should also have the physique to match because as we know, size and strength are, nat are directly correlated in natural athletes. Uh, I also want to talk a little bit about being too low of a body fat percentage. Um, once you cross over the 10% threshold, even some people even have uh, negative health effects at 10 to 12% body fat. You may experience um, decrease in hormone effectiveness, um, la uh, fatigue, lack of appetite, um, lack of energy, as well as um, losing lean body mass and you're not going to grow as well as you would be at a higher body fat percentage as well as losing strength. So until you've hit these strength standards, I, de I definitely would challenge you to be at least a caloric maintenance or a caloric surplus so that you are being efficient with your time in the gym. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I thank you for watching, and um, go ahead and stay tuned. I hope to put out a video every week. I'm still trying to work on a schedule, but if you've been watching and you've been enjoying the videos, I really appreciate you, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.